install in MediaWiki in Ubuntu server. If you are to install MediaWiki in any web server, you have to have PHP, Apache and MySQL or SQLite already installed. So I have already installed PHP, MySQL and Apache and if you haven't, instructions on how you can install this are stated in the description section of this video. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to download the latest version of MediaWiki by just go, uh, doing a search. I'm saying <coughs> download MediaWiki and over here uh, the first result will be the download page of MediaWiki and if we go inside I will find out that the latest version uh, up to date is MediaWiki 1.17.0 so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this download link by right clicking on it and selecting copy shortcut and thereafter I'm kind of uh, coming back to my SSH client which I have SSH to my web server which turns out to be a VMware workstation running uh, Ubuntu 10.04 and what I'm going to do is I'm going to say wget and I'm going to give um, uh, I'm going to paste the code or paste the URL over here. So once I press enter, a file approximately 14 megabytes of um, size will be downloaded to my home directory. Since I've already downloaded the file, I will not uh, kind of proceed with this text. I'll go to the next step straight away. So if I look into my folder structure, I have MediaWiki 117.0.tar.gz already downloaded. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm kind of going to get uh, root privileges to my shell by saying sudo bash <coughs> and as you see uh, my username has changed to root from Xian. So in case if you have been asked for a password enter your password and you'll experience the same thing and when you're asked root you can do a lot of things uh, without any restrictions. So now I have uh, logged in as root and what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this file which is MediaWiki 117.0 to the root folder of my web server. <coughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say cp MediaWiki into var dub dub dub. Okay, the file has been copied. Now if we change our folder to var dub dub dub. <laughs> We could see MediaWiki 1170.tart.gz in the root folder. So the next thing we had to do is we had to extract the source codes uh, by using tar command. I'm going to say tar minus xvzf, and I'm going to say MediaWiki. And once I press enter, <coughs> all these files will be kind of extracted to the current folder in the same name as MediaWiki. 117.0 <coughs> okay the extraction has been done and if I again look into the folder structure I kind of find a folder named MediaWiki 117.0 so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rename this uh, to something meaningful like wiki so I'm going to say MV MediaWiki to wiki so now the renaming has been done <coughs> and uh, it's kind of in a state that we can access it externally using a browser. So I'm going to go back to Internet Explorer, open a new tab and I'm going to say um, I'm going to have the IP address which is 192.168.0.151 I'm going to say 192.168.0.151 uh, if, you're web, if you're working on a web server, you'll probably have DNS entries for it and you will not have to enter kind of the IP address. But since I do not work on a DNS server, I, I haven't configured a DNS server, I have to enter the IP address uh, to access the web service. So uh, depending on if you have or not, you might you can use the fully qualified domain name or the web IP address to access the installation. So I'm going to enter the... Um, uh, what you call the IP address and then I'm going to use the wiki folder and as you see we have entered the installation page of MediaWiki 117.0 so it's saying local settings.php file not found and this file is what is required to run MediaWiki it's kind of an important file that has all the settings that is required for the operation so I'm going to say set up the wiki
All right. Uh, the next question, MediaWiki installation asks me, is my language? It's asking for my language, and I'm going to select English. But if you're using any different language, there's a whole lot of choices that is available for you. And I'm wondering if Sinhalese is there. Oh yeah, we even have Sinhal over here. Uh, it has a lot of languages, but I'm kind of going to stick to English. And also the wiki language is going to be in English. So once these two selections are made, I'm going to say continue. Yep, I'm experiencing a kind of a slow performance over here. So sorry about that. And over here, the next page is about uh, what kind of uh, environment MediaWiki is going to be installed. So it's saying uh, PHP 5.3.2 is uh, installed, and there's a warning that a object caching mechanism is not present, such as eAccelerator, APC, Xcache, or WinCache. I have already installed eAccelerator uh, or APC or any object uh, caching me uh, mechanism for PHP, and that's why this warning message is here. And um, the failure to have any such module or accelerator will only cause the slowing down of MediaWiki. <coughs> so it's not a, it's not going to kind of fail, but it'll only be much faster if you have these modules installed, one of these modules installed. And thereafter, it's checking for the image library, which is uh, GD graphics library, and I have already installed it. And it's also given more warnings about um, the implementation. Thereafter, we had the copyright terms, which we kind of agree, I guess, always. And I'm going to just say continue. And the next installation, or next page, is about the database. Now, I said in the beginning that we can use uh, either MySQL or SQLite. Well, there's a whole lot of other options as well. You can use uh, PostgreSQL. Oracle, but I believe it's kind of uh, popular to use MySQL because it's kind of free and very popular database that is available. So the database type is going to be MySQL and the database host is going to be local host in my case, but if you have in the database uh, that is kind of different, um, let's say uh, you have a different server for your web's, uh, uh, MySQL database uh, you'll have to enter the IP address or the fully qualified domain name over here. And now it's asking for the database name and I'm kind of happy with my wiki and it's asking for a table prefix which is not kind of necessary. And the database username which is root and I'm going to give the administrative password for it and I'm just going to click continue. So in case if you are interested in having a ta uh, about this option which is table prefix it's kind of um, important only if you're having um, to install or kind of um, write, uh, no, kind of may, uh, work with in the same database in the sense if you have multiple data tables or my, multiple software using the same database, you'll kind of have to use a table prefix in order to prevent collision uh, because uh, only some web servers or some web hosts do not uh, support or allow you to have more than one database. So if you're having the ability to make a new database, it's completely all right to just ignore this. So I'm going to say continue. And now it's asking um, what type of database technology or storage engine it should use. <coughs> um, <coughs> sorry. So I'm going to use InnoDB. Uh, you can even use my sum. InnoDB is kind of a little heavy, but it has a lot of features. Uh, my sum is kind of legendary, it's old, but it's kind of very lightweight. But I think I'll uh, stick to the latest InnoDB, and I'm going to change the database character set into UTF-8. And I'm going to press continue. And thereafter, it's asking me for the name of my wiki, and I'm going to say uh, my wiki and project namespace the same as the wiki namespace or you can specify something uh, kind of you know specific and thereafter it's asking for my administrative account details I'm going to say Sian Chinedin and I'm going to give a password and I'm going to repeat it over here 
<coughs> I'm going to give my email address. Um, kind of, uh, I think it'll be useful if I forget my password. So over here they're saying you're almost done. You can skip the remaining configuration and install Wiki right now. So the remainder of this uh, configuration is kind of, um, I think it's kind of boring. You can continue without having them. Um, well, we are going to kind of uh, exit right from here. And how we can configure or customize MediaWiki will be discussed in the next video tutorial. And see you then. Okay, so I'm not going to end this tutorial right now. I'm just going to continue. And I'm going to continue. <coughs> And at this moment, I should get a file which is called local settings.php. Um, this is saying that the installation has completed successfully. And this local settings.php file will be for my download. And what I can do is I will have to copy this file to my web server where the wiki is uh, residing. So I'm going to say save as. I'm going to select my desktop because it's kind of. Oops. <coughs> because it's kind of easy to work, uh, find a file in my desktop. If I go to my My Documents folder, things could get lost forever. Okay, the download is complete. And I'm going to go back to uh, SSH Secure Shell. It's having an interesting feature which is called the File Transfer Window. I'm just going to click on it and it will open a window that I can kind of drag and drop files from um, Well, my uh, Windows PC to my Linux machine which I have as searched. So over here we should have something called local settings.php. I'm just going to drag and drop it in my home directory of uh, the web server. And if I look into uh, ls dollar home, oops, <coughs> you see local settings.php. Uh, has been downloaded. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this file cp local settings no cd dollar home local settings dot php I'm going to copy this file to um, wiki and okay the copy has been done if I just open wiki and say ls grip local settings I uh, see local settings.php is in the wiki folder. So if I go back to my browser and kind of uh, <coughs> go to my uh, web domain slash wiki, I kind of should access the front page or the first page of media wiki. So over here you see my wiki as the title and it's saying uh, media wiki has been installed successfully consult the user guide for information on using media wiki over here the one of the most annoying things i find is this logo and uh, we can kind of change this uh, to whatever we desire so if i say if i just look into the local settings.php file i open it in a text editor <coughs> Um, over here, uh, right in about the 36th line, you have WG logo. So WG logo is going to be WG style path common images wiki dot png. So I'm going to kind of uh, happy or interest kind of liking this logo. So I'm going to change it right now. And what I'm going to do is I have already an image uh, which is which I made for my university. I'm going to copy it or transfer it to my web server. Over here it's named uh, PD and Wiki. I'm going to copy to this folder. And thereafter, I'm going to copy that image as well to this uh, www wiki directory. So I'm going to say cp uh, dollar home uh, PD and Wiki. Uh, to, I hope there's something called images. Yeah, I have something called images. And I'm going to say, yeah, that's enough. No, I'm going to say the name of it is going to be, let's say, my wiki um, log dot png. Okay, so now we have uh, kind of changed it. 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to use nano and open a local settings.php and I'm going to go to the 36th line um, which is kind of saying which is the path uh, for media the logo of media wiki so I'm going to say oops I don't remember the name that I gave it's my wiki logo.png okay I'm going to change this value to my wiki logo.png and the path is going to be just images no it's going to be wg strip part wg s-c-r-i-p-t-p-a-t-h okay so now if I just save this thing let's see what happens I'm going to press control X and it's saying uh, save modified buffer I'm going to say yes and I'm going to enter <coughs> if I go back to my web server uh, web browser and kind of refresh let's see what has happened you see uh, the logo of that our the nine in logo has been changed to the logo that we had given <coughs> So the thing that you had to change is the WG logo property uh, and you had to kind of remove everything you have and kind of uh, enter WG script path slash images slash mywiki.logo.png so That's the kind of name that we gave to our logo so if your uh, logo is somewhere else you kind of have to change this section of this argument and now we have a kind of a working setup of media wiki and if if I'm to just say how you can add an article into it what you have to do is you have to search its topic let's say for example uh, I'm going to add something about me I'm going to say Zian Junaidin <coughs> and over here it's saying um, there was no results matching the query and you can create the page Zian Junaidin on this wiki so if I just say uh, click on this link yeah, uh, it'll kind of create the page for me first I have to enter something and then click uh, create save page and then the page will be created so how you can create a page is by just searching for the name that does not exist and then create it um, and that's how we kind of uh, work with media wiki so this is the conclude uh, the end of this video tutorial we'll be uh, looking into more uh, detailed specifications or detailed configurations of media wiki in the following tutorial uh, I hope you have a nice day thank you for viewing